Hi, this is Senior Executive Director Stacy Itzel, and today I'm going to show you how to set up a show on your website for a virtual party, as well as how to create the Facebook event and then connect that Facebook event to your Post My Party outlines if you're using Post My Party. So we're going to start first by setting up the show on your website. So I'm just going to log in to pamperchef.com and actually I'm already signed in so now I'm going to click on consultants corner and then go to the my shows tab and hit my shows and orders and then we're going to create a new show and so this is actually called a catalog show but then we're going to click virtual party so that the company knows we're doing a virtual party. And then the start date for this party is actually going to be next Tuesday, the February 20, February 21st. Um, I do a five day pre party and then a seven day party with a three days of post, um, post party posts. So, um, even though we're going to be setting up the um, pre-party to start tomorrow, the actual party itself is going to start on the 21st. And then it'll run for, let's go back, seven days. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then, like I said, I have three days of post-party. So one, two, three. That'll make it close on March 7th, uh, 2nd, excuse me. And then I always change the show name to my host name. So we're doing Lindsay's Virtual Pampered Chef Party. That way when the guests click the link and they come to the landing page, they know they're in the right place. And then for Tell Us More, we're going to click Virtual Party. And then we're going to find the host. Now, if you don't already have your host in your contacts you can you'll have to enter all of this information but I know that Lindsay has ordered from me before so I just type in her name and there she comes all right and then I just double check the spelling of the host name and you can see I actually spelled it wrong so we'll fix that Lindsay is with an e there and then we're gonna create the show So there's a couple of changes that I make um, to the wording that's in um, automatically defaulted within the show. And I'll show you those as soon as this finish, finishes loading. My computer's moving extra slow today. Really slow today. While we're waiting, I'm gonna go ahead and log in to Facebook and get ready to set up her event. And then I'm also going to um, open up Post My Party. And you can see I just have these tabs saved up here because I use them all the time. Let's come back into, my goodness. There we go, oops. Okay, so we had a little error. So I didn't catch this. Um, I'm actually going to change this to cell. Now create the show. Hopefully it doesn't take quite as long this time. All right, so um, I don't want to move on because I want you to make all of these changes at the same time when you're setting up your party. I think running the recorder in the background was making everything run a little bit slower. There we go. Okay. So the first change I make is on the show page tab. The, the show page is what your guests will see when they click the link. So right here, I just like to change the words from catalog show to virtual party. 
And if this auto automatically saves, you don't have to do anything. So you see, saved last 1.32.06 p.m. And then this at the bottom of the show page tab is where you're gonna grab the link to your host show. We'll come back and grab this later. We don't need it right now. I just wanted you to see what that was. And then also, I always send my host an email um, so that she can create her host, um, create her account and have access to her host dashboard. But there's a couple of things I change in here as well. So we're gonna change this from catalog show to virtual party. And then I take this part out. I'll call you soon to make plans because I have already talked with my hosts by the time we get to this point where we're setting up the show. Now this one you do have to save each time. And then we're just gonna click send email and this will send the email right to Lindsay. Okay, so now the next step is to set up your Facebook event. So you click, make sure you click on your homepage and then you're gonna click on events and then click create an event. You can see I already have a few virtual um, parties already set up and we're gonna create a private event. And the reason why you wanna do private is because you're most likely going to be doing several parties at the same time. I recommend doing your parties in batches, anywhere from three to six at a time. And so if you made all of these events public, then every single time you post up in post in each event, it would show up in your personal newsfeed and that's going to drive your friends and other customers crazy. So it's always a good idea to have your um, Facebook banner saved to your computer already, which I do. And Pamper Chef actually creates these for us under the um, marketing and imagery tab. So you don't have to take the time to do that. Why isn't it coming up? There we go. We can pull these right from Pamper Chef's um, website and Consultants Corner. And then I'm going to name it again, Lindsay's Pamper Chef Virtual Party. And then here, we're just going to say that it's on Facebook only because when guests click the link that you put in here, it will have Lindsay's address. There's no way to remove that. So we just want to remind guests all the time, this is only on Facebook. So the date and time, again, is going to be next Tuesday. My pre-party is going to start on Thursday. And I always start them at 8 in the morning. It's typically when the first post goes in. And then we're going to end it 10 days later on March 2nd at 11.59 p.m. So now, the event descriptions. So this is, um, you can find the, I don't need that, that was something else. You can find this virtual host coaching document in the files of the Stacey Superstar page. And in here are the words that I use for my event description. So you want to download that and save it to your computer. So I'm just going to copy the words that I have in here. And then paste them right into the event. All right. And then um, we're going to add a couple of things. We're going to change hosts here in parentheses to Lindsay's. And then we're going to change it up here as well. And then right here is we're going to, where we are going to put that show URL that is back on the show page tab. And this is the direct link to Lindsay's party. So if you click this copy button, it'll copy the whole link for you. And it's very important to click the copy button and not try to retype it 
because this is case sensitive. If you type in pamperchef.com slash go slash 2n and you do a lowercase n, that will not link you to the party. So I always just click copy so I don't have any errors. And then we're going to click create private event. And then I always also um, add the guest special to the event, the banner, because Facebook is always changing the way things are viewed. And currently when events are viewed, you can't see the entire banner. So I always post this to the top. Oops, wow, <laughs> I don't know why that popped up. And then I like to pin this so that it stays at the top of the event all the time. So after you do that, you wanna go ahead and add your host. Now you can set up your events and set up the show well in advance of your pre-party, but I don't recommend adding your host until at least um, Tuesday or Wednesday before the party because you don't want her to start inviting people and have people joining the event and then nothing happening for a week. But if your time allows you to set everything up a few days before, that's actually a good thing. And then just add your hosts, like I said, um, a day or two before. So since all my pre-parties start on Thursdays, I usually add my hosts on Tuesdays or Wednesdays. So we're gonna hit save. And then the last thing we're gonna do is um, connect this to post my party. So I'm just gonna make sure I have that link address and then go into post my party. And then I have all of my templates already saved here. So I'll just show you them. I do um, a five day pre-party like I said, and then a seven day party with three days of post party. So these, you can create lots of different templates to use in here. But to set it up, you're gonna to go to Parties and then click Schedule New. And then you're gonna choose your template. And so we're gonna pick the five-day pre-party template. And this is a personal event, which with Post My Party, if you are selling anything, you always have to do it in an event. You cannot do a group. And then face, uh, Post My Party is linked to Facebook when you set it up. So you just look through all of your events and find your host. Now this is the pre-party, so this is going to start tomorrow on the 16th. And I'm in the Eastern time zone. And so within your template, you have something called tokens. And those are um, three different things that you can do. You can have one for host, you can have one for link, and you can have one for text. And every time you have host, link, or text within your template, it will automatically insert whatever you put in these boxes. So for host, I'm gonna put Lindsay because that's my host's name. And then for link, I'm gonna put the show URL. And in my pre-party, I don't have any tokens with text, so I'm just gonna click create. Now I actually already have five other parties that are starting at the same time tomorrow. So I need to adjust the timing of all of these posts. And so um, I'm just going to do this by 15 minutes because you don't want Facebook posting the same exact thing in six different places at the same exact time or you can land in Facebook jail. So I already delayed my other ones. And let me show you how those posts, I mean those tokens work. So you can see that it inserted the, the show link right here. And let's go to the next one. Um, let me find one where it shows. Hey, there it is right there. See how it put the word Lindsay right there? 
in this template, it actually has the brackets with the word um, host inside of it. It's a pretty smart little system. All right, so now we're going to...